Hey guys, Rob Skiba here with another testingtheglobe.com short video. So, uh, if you've been following some of my other videos, I've been showing how I believe the sun and moon uh, work over the flat earth model and taking advantage of the fact that the atmosphere is full of moisture and that, and that it is acting like a lens. I've done a number of videos and um, one of the questions that has come up a number of times actually is how is it that the clouds can be lit from underneath? Now in the spinning heliocentric globe model it's essentially explained that as the earth is rolling away from the sun as it's you know spinning it rolls such that the sun is at a much lower angle and that and because of that angle the sun is shining up uh, and the sun rays are hitting the bottom of the clouds. So when you show people the model of the sun going around in a parallel path above the circle of the earth they say well you know in that situation the sun is above the clouds and so how could it possibly illuminate the bottom of the clouds when it's doing that so I decided to take up that challenge to see if I could figure that out based on what I had learned in my previous experiments and so I got one of these stick them up LED lights you know you kind of push the button it's got three little LED lights inside and uh, I taped it up so only one of the LED lights is showing and stuck it on a box and put it on the table with my trusty plastic lens set up here and uh, I took my stand that I was using for the sun and moon and just set it up right here on top of these little Tupperware things and I was thinking okay so that's let's just say the bottom of this little stand here uh, represents the bottom of the clouds and so as you can see here the light is way above you know it's well above what would be the bottom of the clouds in this example so let's see what happens I turned off the lights and set my iPhone to record and uh, I'm showing myself here recording all of this with another camera and I pulled the light back on the table and watch what happens here. Ooh, check it out. And there's that refraction taking place again. It's got the light. It made the sun set, first of all, below the horizon in this case. And uh, let's just show, this is just the iPhone view. I'm going to bring the cloud in here. And the platform represents the bottom of the cloud. So the sun's going, 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 going down. And oop, there it is. The bottom of the clouds illuminated by a light source that's well above the clouds moving parallel over a flat surface. So apparently it's possible for the sun to illuminate the bottom of the clouds even on the flat earth model. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.